Welcome to a video taking a look at questionnaires. Here we're, asked, uh, here we're told that Peter wants to find out how much people spend on their lunch. He uses this question on a questionnaire. How much do you spend on your lunch? £1 to £5, £5 to £10, £10 to £15. We are then asked to write down two things that are wrong with the question. Now, there are actually three things wrong with this question. We're going to start by looking at the actual question that we asked. How much do you spend on your lunch? Now the problem with this is that there's no time frame. It could be how much money do you spend on your lunch per day. It could be how much money do you spend on your lunch per week. There's, there's no idea of that. So some people who are answering this may think, oh, it means per day. Some people who are answering it may think, oh, it must mean per week. And so because it hasn't been specified, different people are going to interpret this question differently. And so the first problem that we have got with this questionnaire is that uh, there is no time frame on the question. So there is no time frame on the question. And for example, we could say, e.g., per day. Okay, now the other two problems are with the answer boxes. So, first of all, let's take a look at this answer box here and this answer box here. I've got one to five pounds, and then I've got five to ten pounds. Say, for example, I spend exactly five pounds on my lunch every day. If I spend five pounds on my lunch, which box do I tick? If I'm a person that spends five pounds on my lunch, you may find that some one person that spends five pounds on their lunch ticks that box, another person who spends exactly the same amount ticks another box. So what we would say here is that the um, that the answer boxes are not very clear and we would say that the options overlap. So the options that we've been given the options that we've been given are overlapping for example one pound to five pounds and five pounds to ten pounds. Okay, let's take a look at the third thing and again it's a, a problem with the options that we've been given. Now, <clears throat> say for example I spend a lot of money on my lunch. Say if I go, I go to a really nice restaurant every day, really really expensive and I spend a lot of money on my lunch. If I spend a lot of money on my lunch, say I spend more than fifteen pounds, there's no box here for me to tick. And so what we would say is that our third criticism of this questionnaire is that we've not been given all options. All options are not available to us. Okay? So we what we would say is that um not all options are available. So not all options available. For example, and then you could say, so you could say that if you spend a lot of money, over 15 pounds, or if you don't spend much money at all, there's nothing below a pound. So I would say that not all options are available. For example, uh, 16 pounds plus. Okay. So part B asks us to design a question for the questionnaire to find out how much people spend on their lunch. 
you must include some response boxes. So all that we have to do at this point is simply address all of the problems that we identified originally. So the first one is that there is no time frame on the question, for example, per day. So let's address that. We can ask exactly the same question, but instead just put per day at the end. So how much do you spend on your lunch per day? So we'll start off, how much, um, how much do you spend on your lunch? And then the improvement that we're making, the improvement that we're making per day. So that's addressed the first problem that's wrong with it. Then the second problem is when we get to drawing out some um, answer boxes. So first problem was that the options overlap. The second one was that not all options were available. So we'll have some answer boxes and we must make sure that all options are available. So if you don't spend anything on your food for lunch, you're going to need a zero option. And so what we'll do is we'll say 0 pounds to 5 pounds. Then for our next box, we'll say, okay, um, we'll say that this has to not overlap with 5 pounds. So what we'll say is that we'll say it's 5 pounds and a penny. And we'll have that go up to 10 pounds. Then the next one, we need to make sure that it doesn't overlap with 10 pounds. So we'll have 10 pounds and a penny up to 15 pounds. And then we need a fourth box to address that third issue that not all options are available. And so we would say um, in our final box, we would say something like 15 pounds and a penny or more. So that has addressed all three of the issues that we've had. We've now got a time frame on the question per day. We have got none of our boxes are overlapping. And then lastly, all options are available to us. So if we spend hardly anything, we've got zero pounds. If we if we um, spend more than 15 pounds, we've got we've got a box for that.